What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today I am so excited because my buddy Aaron from For The Love Of Tech, he has come over and he's been so gracious to do a guest video over here on my channel. But before I get to him, I just wanna talk a little bit about why we're doing this collab. So um, Aaron is a fellow YouTube creator and those of you who are my loyal, loving subscribers, you know that I'm in the business of just helping people. And every now and then I do videos like this to help other YouTubers. But anyways, Aaron and I are part of this uh, YouTuber community. It's called the Awesome Creator Academy. There will be a link down below if you would like to check it out. But one of the struggles that a lot of YouTubers deal with or any type of creative deals with is like these blocks, these mental blocks. Like for me personally, sometimes I'm just like, oh, what do I make a video about today? You know, or it's, or, you know, it could be even coming down to my thumbnails. like. Sometimes it's hard to spark creativity. And something that I found is that meditation helps me immensely. So as part of our YouTuber group, uh, Aaron and I were talking about this, some other people in the community were talking about how they're running out of ideas, and they feel blocked. And Aaron and I were just chatting and I'm like, man, you know, I wish people understood how much meditation actually helps with this, you know? So Aaron has a YouTube channel, it's called For the Love of Tech. And his channel is all about tech so he does a bunch of unboxings he does reviews the dude also does some sick giveaways like he just gave away a nintendo switch not that long ago so i will put links to his channel up in the info card down in the description and it'll be at the end of the video but anyways i will shut my mouth and i will pass it along to aaron hey guys aaron here for the love of tech doing a video today for my buddy chris and today i was chatting with him either uh, yesterday or today and we were talking a little bit about how meditation can help you overcome a creativity block. As of recently, I have a little bit of experience with this. I've been rocking and rolling, making a ton of YouTube videos. I think I made close to 50 with, within 90 days, which is a record for me since I just started doing YouTube. With that said, I kind of got to a place where I didn't know what to do a video on and I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm like Aaron you've been doing these videos naturally just flowing out of you just non-stop every other day to a day non-stop you don't like it you do it again and then all of a sudden it was like boom I shut down I didn't know what happened so I started thinking what is going on inside of me that is preventing me from moving forward into the universe to create some new cool videos for you guys? What I did is I took a moment and I had to reflect. Now, when I reflect, it comes in several different stages or phases. Everybody's different. No one has to do the exact same thing every single time this is what i do take a moment center myself <sighs> exhale take a big deep breath in through the nose hold it and then out through the mouth As I'm taking the breath and I'm exhaling out, I'm letting the breath carry away my worries, my tension, maybe my anger, my jealousy. I'm letting it carry out my feelings, right? Typically, I'm not in this amazing place and I meditate out of desire. I meditate out of the necessity to feel better, to help adjust my perception back to reality here with you guys so let's try it again but this time on the inhale we're going to inhale and we're going to visualize in our brain that we're bringing in all the positive creative energy of the world when we hold it in when we give ourselves that moment to let the breath rest within our body our body's then absorbing that creativity. It's absorbing the inspiration. It is absorbing <laughs> the energy that I'm missing. 
And then when I exhale, because I just brought all that good stuff into my body, I'm exhaling the blockage. I'm exhaling the negative emotions that's preventing me from moving forward for you guys and for me. Now, when I'm letting it go this time, I'm going to put all that negative energy into a tiny little toy boat and I'm going to push it off into the water. And I'm going to visualize this in my head because when I visualize things, it helps me believe that this is what's really happening. And this is what we're doing is I'm retraining my brain to think differently. I'm reminding myself that attitude is a choice. Now I'm choosing something different. Let's try it again. Now I feel <laughs> awake, energized, rested, even though it's kind of late at night. I'm feeling all these things. I'm feeling like if I'm able to take out a little bit time every single day for me, that will help get past this block I have of creativity. And if you look at it, it's already gone because I'm here right now with you guys doing a little video from my buddy Chris over at The Rewired Soul. I hope you guys find the information I provided useful. I am by no means an expert on meditation. It's a tool that I use in my life to help me cope and help me maintain my level of stress. And I'm going to end this video like I end all my videos, whether I'm meditating or not. Check it out. For the love of tech, namaste. All right. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you you saw, like, one of the things I loved about what Aaron just did there is, like, so many people get meditation twisted. They think, like, meditation means that you have to sit at this gorgeous peak of a mountaintop or in front of a stream in a monk's robe. Like, no, like... Meditation could be as simple as one breath, you know what I mean? And what this is doing is this blockage that we have, this uh, when we get stuck in our creativity, it's actually a lot to do with our ego and other things going on. So even with one simple breath, it can help bring you back down and get rid of all the clutter. Now, I will commend Aaron. I always, I always compliment people like, Aaron um, does some visualization. It's something that, my mind just doesn't do. So um, I will be making another follow-up video um, about some other meditations for creativity. So make sure you subscribe and um, I, will, I will do some on that, the ones that personally um, help me. But I absolutely love how Aaron's is very short, it's very sweet, it's very simple. I hope you followed along. But what you start to realize is that it's, it's pretty much instantly calming. I'll drop some science on you real quick. When you take these deep inhales, it actually triggers something in your body called the vagus nerve, which helps decrease cortisol levels and things like that, which decreases stress. So when we are stressed, we're not accessing certain parts of our brain that allow us to be creative. And typically when you're stuck or you're blocked, you start getting more cortisol in your system, which makes you more stressed and less creative. So even one breath, one simple breath, can help you be a lot more creative, all right? But anyways, like I mentioned before, make sure you go check out Aaron's channel. He does a bunch of tech reviews. I love the dude, he's 
is doing great, he's doing awesome things, and he's a good guy, and he's a good guy. If you like me, you'll like Aaron, make sure you go subscribe to him, all right? But anyways, anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. So click that little round subscribe button. And if you click or tap right there, there is a link to Aaron's channel if you wanna go check it out. And right below is another one of my videos, all right? So thanks so much for watching. Go meditate today, even if it's just one breath, and I'll see you next time.